Hi, so here we have a question where we have to find the number of different integers x which satisfy this equation. Here this is a quadratic expression and which is raised to the power of another quadratic equation and when you do so the result is 1. This is the question which was asked in screening level question paper of NMTC junior level 2019 which is also known as Bhaskar contest. So let's see how many different integers will satisfy this particular equation. So we know that any number or any integer raised to the power 0 is equal to 1, right? So if this is the condition, this expression should have value equal to 0. So x square minus 11x plus 30 will be equal to 0. This can be written as x square minus 6x minus 5x plus 30 is equal to 0 or you can say x minus 6 multiplied by x minus 5 this is equal to 0 x minus 6 and x minus 5 will be the factors of equation x square minus 11x plus 30 equal to 0 so when x minus 6 is equal to 0 I'll get x is equal to 6 and when x minus 5 is equal to 0 I'll get x equal to 5 so we have got two values of x over here which are 6 or 5 Another condition is if this x square minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 1, then 1 to the power any number is actually equal to 1. This is the second condition. So let me compare this expression with 1. If this is 1, this can have any value. The result will always be 1 because 1 to the power m where m can be any number is equal to 1. So when x square minus 5 x plus 5 is equal to 1 then x square minus 5 x plus 4 will be equal to 0 and if I factorize this I'll get x square minus 4 x minus x plus 4 equal to 0 or x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 1 this is also equal to 0 so either of these two factors can be 0 so when x minus 4 equal to 0 I'll get value of x as 4 and when x minus 1 is equal to 0 the value of x will be equal to 1 so I got two more values of x which are 4 and 1 for which this expression will give us the value equal to 1 right and we also have that minus 1 whole to the power 2 times m is also equal to 1 that means minus 1 to the power any even number will also give you result as 1 right so let me compare this with minus 1 and whatever results we get then we can check with those results if I get this expression as even number or odd number and then we will decide whether those values of x will be satisfying this equation or not so let me first compare this expression to minus 1 that means if x square minus 5 x plus 5 is equal to minus 1 and if this is equal to minus 1 x square minus 5 x plus 6 will be equal to 0 or x square minus 3 x minus 2 x plus 6 will be equal to 0 so from these two I can take x common I'll get x minus 3 inside and from these two if I take minus 2 common again I'll get x minus 3 inside and this will be equal to 0 or x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 2 this will be equal to 0 so the values of x I'll get as 3 and 2 so if I assume x equal to 3 the value of x square minus 5x plus 5 will be equal to minus 1 because we have got these roots by comparing this expression to minus 1. Now let us check whether this exponent has the even value or the odd value when x is equal to 3. So if I put x equal to 3, x square minus 11x plus 30, this will be equal to 9 minus 33 plus 30. So if you find the difference of two odd numbers, the result will be even and even number plus even number will always give you even number. So this will be equal to minus 24 plus 30 that is equal to 6 which is an even number and if I substitute x equal to 2 again it will be an even number because x square is 4 minus 11 multiplied by 4 is 44 plus 
30 this will be equal to minus 10 which is an even number that means x can also have values equal to 3 and 2 and still this equation will be satisfied so there are total 6 values of x which will satisfy this particular equation so that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching math smart subscribe to it and please don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then